Hey, um, what? Yeah, uh, I know the United States got a lot of uh, scientists from Operation Paperclip mm -hmm. from Nazi Germany, but how many did Russia get? A lot. The rest of them. <laughs> yeah. Did they? So is their Russian rocket program like this one with Yuri Gagarin? I think so. Yeah, we. That's the dirty secret I was about watching, space travel. Did you see the Indiana Jones movie? By any chance? No, I haven't seen it. There's a little bit of that Operation Paperclip in there. The main like bad Nazi guy was like helped in the story. He like helps. Wait, you haven't seen any Rocket Indiana thing. Jones movies? No, I have. I just found the, the newer, newer one. Oh, the there's, newer. A new, there's a new yeah, one. Dial of Destiny is what it was called. It it, came yeah, out it was like out of, like a month ago. Is it out, man? Yeah, it just I just watched it on uh, digital. Uh, did the did the Nazis have dueling yeah. scars? Not and well, did he? No, I don't it's, think so. It's competing with so many good movies. This might be the best. This might be the best movie year ever. Really? Yeah, and it's crazy to happen during a strike joint, but it's like Operation Oso Ivachim. Have you seen, mm. They, they re-released Old Boy. Have you ever seen Old Boy, Joe? The original, the Korean one. Yes, I have. That, that, they just re-released it in theaters. Oh wow! Um, so this guy was a Soviet. It was a Soviet operation, uh, which uh -huh. more than two thousand five hundred former Nazi German specialists from companies and institutions relevant to military and economic policy in the Soviet Union. They came over just like they came over to America. That's the dirty secret about rocket travel. Like, the Nazis had amazing engineers and scientists, and these guys were ahead yeah. in, in rocketry, and we scooped all their evil motherfuckers I wonder, up. Why do you think that is? Why, why do certain cultures have better engineering and all that? It's a very think? good question. Like, you know, it's the, like who gets the jump start on steel, right? You got to think that if you're in Germany... You know, unlike the United States, it's not an emerging country. It's been around for a long time. You know, yeah. um, they they have a long history of automobiles. You know, I mean, think about like Mercedes Benz. What year was that developed? Audi. Well, I think it's I think it's what I think it's whatever your culture takes pride in. Mm, if they take pride in engineering. Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's the way like when you in Japan, how the trains never late. Mm -hmm. Like never. Right. Yeah. The one time I remember, the one time it was late, like the guy had to go on TV and apologize. Yeah, you like Japanese corporations, like the way they run them, man. Like, like they, these people are like very emotionally attached to the success and failure of their company, and they will work very, very hard to yeah. make sure that they don't dishonor their company. And they'll work you to death. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah. yeah, and the the products they make are all awesome. But you know what? Over there. The 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 CEO, the at, like the CEO, the ratio of CEO pay to worker pay is, it's like twenty times less than here. Really? Yeah, yeah. Over over here, this our country. So is the, the workers get paid more. The workers get a bigger percentage of what the company makes. It's fair. Yeah, that seems fair to me. Yeah. And the CEO, there's no CEOs over there that are, that are, like I, I forget what the ratio is over here, but it's ridiculous. It's ours is the biggest. For sure. Mm. The biggest gap between the workers and the CEO.